Yeah, no one's happy, but uh, I'll win an upper. Who else is coming? We're on to the next Sean, game, right? Arizona State. Okay. It's going to be a big challenge. Mm -hmm. Backs are really good. Quarterback's mobile. And uh, so we've got we got a good challenge in front of us. Talk about their backs and running that sparky thing and all that mm -hmm. stuff they do with the multiple quarterbacks. How big a deal is that? Yeah, well, it, yeah it's, um, they got an extra guy at the point of attack. And you know, in, traditional, in a traditional sense, when you're defending offenses, you don't usually account for the quarterback. And so now the quarterback's a 6'2", 230 running back. So. Yeah, you, you got to spend time on that and make sure you fit it up and, and um, get the guy on the ground. After looking at the tape, how did uh, DJ Beavers do coming in? Yeah, for you? DJ was, he, he, did, he did well. Um, you know, anytime you lose a guy, it's always, it's always a downer and a bummer, but um, he went out there and, you know, it was the opportunity that he uh, made the most out of. So, you know, expect him to go out there and find a and now Wellington's at the number two for that spot. What's he done this year for you? I mean, he's done a lot of kick cover stuff for yeah, special been, teams. But. Yep, Brandon's been on a lot of special teams. He's uh, been repping in um, uh, you know, some of these other games uh, late. He's been you know, getting reps during practice. And so, yeah, he's got to kick it in the overdrive. He's going to get a lot more reps and a lot more opportunities to uh, go out there and show what he can do. What in particular about those? Two young guys. That, uh, do you like? Have you seen uh, DJ and, and Brandon in particular? I mean, yeah, they're seems competitive like guys. They're competitive and um, you know, athletic. And you know, it's just for, the, for those guys. I mean, no one ever wants to you know get a position this way, but it is what it is. And now it's their opportunity to go out there and show what they can do. Has he been around the team at all? It seems like on Twitter uh, stuff he's had a pretty I've positive not, attitude. And, I have not seen him. Um, I think he just got out of the hospital Monday. No, today's Monday. Sunday. Yeah. No, today. What is today? Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, he got out of the hospital on Monday. Um, so I think he's just home laid up. Um, but from what I hear, he's, he's going to be able to walk, do weight bearing on it once um, you know the, the pain subsides. Sounds like it was for that kind of injury. Yes. Positive Best case scenario, because there's yeah, it sounds like there's no soft tissue damage, it's just straight bone, so that, that heals the fastest. Well, a lot of the fans are talking about the pass rush. Are you as concerned about it as the fans are? Always you, I'm always concerned about the pass rush. What can you do to get better at that? Um, we got to get better. Um, it's game 11, right? We're in game 11 now, right? So we are what we are. We got to get better, and we got to do some things. Uh, yeah, we can do some things. I can do some things as far as you know, defenses that we run that can help things out with that from that perspective. Do you blitz more? We might drop only. We might drop nine and rush two, right? And trick them that way. <laughs> Did you see some of the some of the give and take with blitzing against SC that you feel like you have to send extra guys to get there, but when they don't get there, those those DBs are kind of on their own. Um, yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, it's all. I mean, we have we 